Wow, it's so beautiful. Where are we now? Excuse me, sir. Oh, are you Edison? Yes. Welcome to Europe. I heard about you from Global Eye. I'm the guide for Europe. I am also an artist and I am open-minded. Let's start our journey in Europe. How many parts can we divide Europe into? Four? Yes, Europe can be divided into the following four regions. Northern Europe, Southern Europe, Eastern Europe and Western Europe. Europe's landscape is diverse with both high and low mountains, warm Mediterranean beaches, as well as large plains and dense forests. Do you know what countries are in Northern Europe? Northern Europe? Uh, Finland? Right. Countries in Northern Europe include Iceland, Denmark, Norway, Sweden and Finland. In Northern Europe you can feel the power of nature and you can even see the aurora in some parts of Northern Europe. It's so cold though. You can even see glaciers here. Countries in Southern Europe include Portugal, Spain, Italy and Greece. Southern European countries border or are close to the Mediterranean Sea. Southern Europe is sometimes called the center of European civilization. Do you know what countries are in Eastern Europe? Sure, I know about Poland. Yes, Poland is right. Countries in Eastern Europe include Poland, Ukraine and Romania. Home to the Caucasus Mountains and Europe's longest rivers, Eastern Europe has beautiful natural scenery. Countries in Western Europe include France, the UK, the Netherlands and Germany. Okay, let's move. Who are they? Oh, there are many famous artists from Europe. Do you know this painting? Of course, the Mona Lisa. I love that painting. This was painted by Leonardo da Vinci. He was from Italy. This painting is sunflowers. This was painted by Van Gogh. He was from the Netherlands. This painting is the scream. This was painted by Munch. He was from Norway. This painting is source of art. This was painted by Blake. He's from the UK. What kind of art is this? I don't know, but it's very interesting. This is pop art. Pop art is short for popular art. Pop art deals with everyday and popular objects as works of art. I said that I am an artist. I have made various kinds of paintings. It was a very long and difficult process to make a piece of work. But these days, if you use AI, you can easily make your own painting. Isn't that right, Global Eye? Yes, AI is also very useful in art. Today, I will introduce how to use AI. It's very simple to do. If you go into Dream AI, you'll see a screen like this. If you see the advertisement, press the small X button. Please press create in the top right hand corner and then write down what you want to draw and enter prompt and click create. For example, if you want to draw an apple in a pop art style, you can write apple and pop art in enter prompt and then press create. You will get your new painting. We can only use the free version, so don't press purchase premium. If you're using your phone or tablet, you won't see the create banner at the top right. Don't worry, it's easy. Please press three hyphen line at the top right and press create dreams. Don't press purchase premium. 
If you see the advertisement, press the small X button, and then write down what you want to draw and enter prompt and click create. You will get your new painting. Thank you, Global Eye. If you meet the AI robot in the metaverse, you can meet Dream AI. Oh wait, do you remember the special event? After making your own paintings, you better upload it to Padlet. If you find a machine in the metaverse, you can use Padlet. Let's enjoy making our own paintings and sharing with our friends. AI can help you be open-minded and creative. Let's move.